Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this spooky yard display for under $40 using Dollar Tree and Walmart products. Let's get started. The first step is to grab your cardboard or foam board and kind of eyeball a shape that you think will fit along the sides of the basket. I cut a small piece on top for the lip, but after doing so, realized that wasn't necessary. So you can skip that skip if you like. I just ended up filling the gap with extra hot glue for extra protection. You will need 13 pieces of cardboard to go around the entire basket. You will then hot glue each piece of cardboard to every other line on the basket. Once all 13 are glued on, you will take small strips of duct tape and place them connecting the sides to each other. I originally started with Dollar Tree duct tape, but went and got more at Walmart. If you are using Dollar Tree brand, you will need about 5. If you are using Walmart duct tape brand, it should take about 2. This is the longest part of the process, but not hard at all. After you've covered it in tape, go around with a few layers of saran wrap, covering it really well, and tape any pieces that are lifting as well as the inside top portion. Next we're going to work on the top using our Dollar Tree bowl. All we're going to do is using an X-Acto knife, cut straight across one side of the pool noodle, then apply glue along the top of the bowl in sections, and wedge the noodle over the rim.
Once you get to the end of the pool noodle, cut off the excess and glue the ends together, filling any gaps with hot glue. After finishing the bowl, you will want to hot glue it to the rest of the cauldron. Be sure to apply a good amount and fill in any gaps. I had an extra can of spray foam, so I filled the inside of the cauldron, but this is not necessary. If you decide to do this, then you will need three cans instead of two. I then sprayed the cauldron with a stone spray paint I had lying around to add a little texture to the piece, but you can skip this and just paint it black if you'd prefer. Apply two to three coats of black spray paint, paying attention to the base most, because the top will be covered with foam. After painting the cauldron, take your Halloween lights and wrap around the base. Then tuck the plugs of the lights underneath the plastic bag the cauldron is lying on so they don't get sprayed on. Then spray the foam covering all the lights and wires. I found some twigs in the yard just to add a little something, but you can also add schools, other spooky things, or just skip this step altogether. Then using your foam, add some along the rim to look like the cauldron is overflowing. After the foam has dried, spray paint sections using black and red paint along the bottom to look like hot embers. So I lost the footage of me painting the foam along the rim, but I used a glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint from Walmart that was $2. You will need to dab the brush to get between all the crevices, and I did three coats. I then cut a slit along the rim to hide the cord of the mini fogger. Then add water and your cauldron is ready. Okay, so I wasn't going to make a video for the Sanderson sisters, but I changed my mind last minute, so that's why the footage is kind of meh. But for the witches, you basically just take a tomato cage, then pull the first bag over until it pops through and covers the bottom of the cage. Then you're going to bring the ends together and hot glue. Wait for the glue to dry a bit before adding more or you will burn yourself like I did. <laughs> While the glue is still warm, add the first pumpkin to form the bust. For Sarah and Mary, you just add another black bag over the top and tie under the bust with twine, ribbon, or string. Then add the head and cape. Winifred is a bit different. You just cut the ends off the bag so you can fit the arms in. Then take one of the Dollar Tree ghosts and take out the insides, cut it in half, and glue it to the sides of the pumpkin. 
Also add some glue to the joint of the arm so that it doesn't swivel around. For Winifred's dress, take a rectangular tablecloth and drape it over the frame. Then take some yarn and tie it under the bust and create some winged sleeves. For Winifred's hair, quarter a Dollar Tree foam pumpkin. After it is quartered, cut the ends off to lay flat and use one of the ends to create a widow's peak. Fill the front gaps of the hair with hot glue. Then using a Dollar Tree garland decoration, pull off the garland from the frame and wrap and cover any gaps and ridges on the hair. Before applying the head to the body, cut a hole where the head will go so it sticks better and doesn't move around. I learned the hard way and had to go back and fix it. For the capes, I used round tablecloths. Roll back the front a bit and then gather and glue under the chin and then tie with a string. For Sarah's hair, I used an old wig, but you can use yarn or a yellow garland. For Mary, I reused an old headband I made for my daughter's Halloween costume last year. It was made from a floral foam cone, black yarn, and purple ribbon. I hope you like this tutorial, and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!